welcome back to my channel today's a video i am starting let me see i'm starting off i think i need to go i have a lot to do today so i'm going to the bank um i need to go grocery shopping and household item shopping and hygiene shopping so we got a lot of shopping to do today but i don't want to buy too many household products prince get out i don't want to buy too many household products simply because i as for that for Christmas, like I asked for like a household item care package type thing. And if you're new here, hey, my name is Akeja Nate. Don't forget to subscribe and join the channel before you leave. So since I asked for that for Christmas, I don't want to buy too much of stuff since I'm going to be, you know, you can never have too many household items, but you know, I don't want to buy too much since I am literally going to be getting a lot of that for Christmas. Um, I just need, I need groceries. Like I have no food in my refrigerator. So I'm about to go... I think I want to get a smoothie. I'm kind of in the smoothie mood. It's been raining for like a week, but I really want a smoothie. So the smoothie is like 530 calories. So I think that'll hold me over until after I'm done grocery shopping. I may stop at Wendy's since they're right beside each other. But yeah, I need to grocery shop. So I need to completely grocery. My hair looks a mess. Like I didn't even define the anything today. Anyways, so that's the point. I need to do grocery shopping. I have nothing in my apartment. Um, so I'm going to get a smoothie, go to Wendy's, grocery shop. I have so many boxes to take out, but they may be in another vlog because I'm vlogging two different videos in one day. But yeah, I got that to do. Um, and then I just need to straighten up today. So basically, I need to get my life together in this vlog. Adulting is hard. Like, that's probably what I'm going to title this. Like, adulting is ghetto. Like... I'll probably get gas. Um, I know I need to go to Walmart, Costco. We're just we're just about to hop in the car. I just wanted to greet y'all and say hey. Um, I only have 30 minutes left on this, so I probably won't take y'all in the store on the camera. I'll probably record little clips off of my phone, like me grabbing everything, and then just put that into one because I do kind of want to save my camera storage for when I get back and like do a haul and stuff. So we're gonna head out into the car. And I will talk to y'all later. Okay, so I got about 15, maybe about 20 minutes until I got to go take Oreo to the um, hospital to re-get his shots, whatever. I explained that on the ride there. But I got to finish getting the rest of my... Whoop, finish getting the rest of my groceries at the car. And I got a lot of stuff. So I'm going to use my little bitty thingy that I used to use all the time. In my last apartment, you guys used to always ask... Where the heck is this from? It's this from Walmart. My boyfriend got it for me definitely about a year ago. Um, so yeah, I am on the, um, I don't live on the first floor anymore. I do gotta go upstairs. Oh, that's my alarm to leave at the house. <laughs> okay, so I do gotta go upstairs, but I usually like pull it up backwards basically, so. That's what I'm about to do. I got a lot of freaking groceries, so I'm about to take this downstairs because, baby, I'm not about to be making two, three, four, five trips downstairs. So I'm about to pack this all the way up, roll this hoe up this way, backwards up the stairs, and we about to get her going. Okay? I brung my eggs in, and then I brung, I bought two pillows. I'm going to do a haul in a minute. I need to leave in like 10 minutes but I got them some more food I got a different flavor this time I recently just switched back to Caesar because the food that I originally feed them is getting extremely high and baby uh -uh. dang I didn't get no fruit snack I literally spent $230 only like $140 was for food the rest is from you will see but yeah, I didn't get everything I needed. It's crazy how 
like food and like basic necessities because I got like hygiene items and like three more things is not hygiene items or necessities, but you gotta have like $400 to freaking survive out here right now. Like to get a good amount of food. And I live by myself. I can only imagine how much it's costing y'all that got families out there. Like I know y'all trip is almost a thousand dollars. Cause I mean, I tried to buy slightly in bulk, but not too in bulk, just enough to kind of get me to like next payday or at least like my YouTube check and stuff. So, girl, groceries are hot. So I think I may just put everything out on the um, table and then kind of show y'all what I got because me showing y'all each thing one by one, I feel like takes a lot longer. So I'm gonna unpackage everything first and then I'm just gonna do like a quick overview, but I'm gonna leave this out so you guys can see. Everything that I got food and hygiene wise so starting over here this is kind of everything that's not food so I got me a scrub mommy some more dove body wash deodorant I like men's deodorant because it lasts longer I ran out of my deodorant and then I had to use my boyfriend's deodorant he had this kind and I really like this so I don't want to use all his so I got this one needed some more razors I need this for my rug my bedroom this will be in another vlog my um my moving vlog that should be posted before this one. Then I got two of these. These smell amazing. Everyone loves the smell of those. Eggs, cheese, two Lunchables. Like I said, I got them some more food. I got some more Parmesan cheese. This is for tacos. Noodles needed some more. I ran out of all my freaking seasonings because I had been cooking. I just ran out of food. So pepper, Tony's Creole, slap your mammy, and then garlic salt. Then I got biscuits. I like to do dumplings with those ground beef, mustard seeds, potatoes, got some pizzas, beef broth, heavy whipping cream, this is for the tacos, and some more vegetable oil, completely out of that. Got orange juice. I like the thick and hearty because this just hit different. Like if y'all haven't tried this and you like A1 steak sauce, please try this. This tastes so much better than the regular A1 steak sauce. Like that go off. Then I wanted to do baked macaroni again. I needed to kind of restock on some items. So flour and sugar, literally have no sugar left. I got 2% milk because y'all know my little ordeal with the almond milk. I just decided to get 2%, okay? Macaroni. I like the half things of spaghetti. I've been liking these, so those are really cool. And then as for meat, like I said, I got a three pack. Let me come over here. I got a three pack of NY strip steaks. This isn't my favorite type of steak. My favorite type is a T-bone steak, but you can't really beat three for 25. And then I got this big thing of chicken breast. I'm gonna cook all kind of stuff with this chicken breast by itself. I'm gonna do hibachi, chicken alfredo, a whole bunch of stuff with that. And then I got me a chuck pot roast. Uh, all I'm missing is carrots because I think my carrots have gone bad. And literally this right here was a hundred and I think like $40, which is insane. And then I also bought these two items. These will be in a different vlog, but yeah, I got two of these. I need to buy some pillowcases for them because I couldn't find any at Walmart. And then I also got a mattress topper in a size queen. So you will see that in a different vlog because this vlog is kind of more geared to, what did I say? Like running errands and stuff like that. Me doing my bedroom, it should have been before this one. So you guys should have seen that one. So it's 4.11. I need to hurry and put these groceries away because Oreo appointment is at 4.30. And it's about like 15 minutes up the road. I 
I put away all the cold items. When I come back, I'm gonna put away all the other items and then kind of restock everything. So me and Oreo are back at the house. Um, I'm about to finish putting up the rest of the groceries that didn't need to be in the fridge and then kind of straighten up the kitchen and figure out what I'm about to eat for dinner tonight because what are we feeling tonight? What are we feeling? Um, I don't know, cause the roast, it's too late to cook a roast. The roast taking me about four hours. It's 6.25. Um, I'm probably gonna do my little usual, you know, a steak, potatoes, and some macaroni. Yeah. Don't even say nothing about no veggies. Thanks. <laughs> so yeah, this appointment went good. Um, it didn't cost anything because they sent out a paper. Supposedly, the rabies and whatever shot that he had got. Um, Oreo, get off Prince. Whatever he had got the last time, the rabies and whatever else it was, in the warehouse, it basically expired. So they were like, well, he's basically, they sent it in a letter. He's really not fully, you know, vaccinated. So come back and basically we'll redo it again. Office visit and the shots free on us. So I'm like, y'all need to be sued, okay? But then I got um his, you know, his stuff that I gotta give every first of the month for flea, heartworm, tick, all that prevention. So yeah, I got that. Um, I'm also, I'm just about to restock and straighten up the kitchen. Like, like I said, this vlog is gonna be titled Adulting is Ghetto and Hard. Like it's very much, uh, I'm about to take this off cause I'm hot, I'm burning up, honey. But yeah, he's good. Um, the only thing left to do, let me look at my to-do list. I think I did everything that I wanted to do today. <sighs> okay, go to the bank pay, I already did that. Add money to my business bank account, I did that. I just transferred, well I actually went and deposited $500 into my business bank account. I gotta, I'm gonna pay for my photo shoot tomorrow. It's gonna, he takes half. So I gotta pay $275 tomorrow to secure my spot. I need to figure out who I need to do my hair and my makeup and stuff because I need to go ahead and book those. Everything from for my business is coming out of my business bank account. So yeah, that's why I just transfer all the money that I plan to use. They got $500 in there. I need to add $200 more to it because Bay just cashed at me. He's paying for my photo shoot. Shout out to Bay. Thank you for love him. And today is our anniversary. So we've been together for one year or whatever. But yeah, so he's paying for my entire photo shoot. So I need to add 200 more dollars. So then I'll have five, six, I have $700 in that account right now. I just opened it and I had opened it with a hundred. So yeah, anything that I decide to do with the business, obviously it's coming out that account. So I just keep adding money to it. Um, I paid $50 on my credit card today. Then I had get deodorant order here in a clear container for bleach. Got deodorant, order hair. I'll probably do that tomorrow because I need to see if this one girl is actually gonna be able to be in it. She's one of my coworkers. So I'm gonna order the hair tomorrow. Should be here in a week. And I wanted a clear container for my bleach in my laundry room, but I couldn't find one in Walmart. So I'll probably go to Dollar Tree tomorrow. Today is only Thursday. I keep thinking it's Friday. So I got two more off days. So I'm gonna try to finish up. I'm recording two videos in this one day. <laughs> I think I already said that. So I'm gonna try to finish recording both of those videos today and then kind of get a head start on editing as far as like importing stuff or whatever. But yeah, I'm about to um put their food into their little baggie and feed them. Let me put this up. This came in handy as y'all saw. I got all my groceries up in one. I got all my groceries in the house in one trip. We love that. And I was about to play some music because I need some music to get me going. Comment down below if y'all need music to help y'all. I don't need music, but music kind of just make me move faster. I know my best friend say that when she listens to music while like trying to clean and get stuff done, it slows her down because she be like dancing to the music. But I feel like it helps me out. Comment down below. Are you like my best friend or are you like me? Because I feel like music, it just, it just keeps me moving. It helps me. I have a ton of laundry to fold. So that's done. I'm gonna pour their food. This is probably charged up. I wanna pour their food in a little doggy bin. 
This is from Home Goods. I think it was like $15, $16. And like I said, I switched back to Caesar. I don't really care for Caesar um, that much anymore, simply because I used to use Pure Balance Pro. That is my favorite, but they just keep going up. Like every time I go up in there, they went up like a dollar or two and I get it from Walmart. So I do want to start feeding them um, like fresh homemade food from this one company. I forgot what it is, but I think I'm gonna start doing that with Prince and then I'll switch Oreo to the fresh homemade because I think that'll be better. So this is how much they got left. And this is beef and this one is chicken. And I can tell the difference because these are lighter than the beef ones. So I like to mix them to at least get a variety to taste. This is how much I feed Prince. And then Oreo is fat. He usually get, what is this? This is about a half a cup of food. I'll add just a little more. Cause he has a slow feeder, so it looks like there's a lot, but it kinda isn't that much. So yeah. Oreo weighed in today at 16.2 pounds. I forgot to tell y'all that. So he is a fast growing little bitty pup. And Prince, he don't eat that much like this. He probably won't even finish this Oreo. He will eat all of his and then Prince food. So I try not to overfeed him, but he is a lot bigger than Prince. Prince is only eight pounds and Oreo is, like I said, 16.2. So he do need a little bit more than Prince, obviously, but they say he's in good condition. He's not overweight or anything. So I've been doing good. I think I'm about, a half a cup to a cup depending on the days so yeah and they are ready honey look at them <laughs> sit wait Cause our house, it's not our home 
Okay, so moving on to the potatoes, I think it was pretty self-explanatory for me cooking the steak. I've cooked many steaks before, and I think I did also do my roasted potatoes before, but I just seasoned my potatoes with my favorite seasonings, um, which is like pepper, garlic salt, garlic powder, onion powder, um, and then that is the Tony's Creole seasoning that I use. And I also like to use vegetable oil so it can really stick to the potatoes and then just give that a toss around. While I'm doing this, my air fryer is already heating up. So I like to cook them for 20 minutes at 330 degrees. So it takes a few minutes for my um, air fryer to warm up. So in the meantime, I'm kind of multitasking and yeah throw them in there kind of give them a little shake and I do 20 minutes this day I did 375 but I now do like 330 335 because these was a little bit too toasted or roasted for my liking then for the meat after I open the meat I do like to go ahead and put it in a ziploc bag I do like to write the date that it expires or need to be frozen by on the bag and then just slip that into either the freezer or the refrigerator in the meantime, multitasking as you're cooking, you need to clean as you go so you don't have a huge mess at the end after you're done and you're full and you're not going to feel like putting anything away. So you need to put everything away while you're doing it. After I put all my dishes away, I like to open this up at the halfway point, spray some nonstick butter on it so it can not burn too much. And then this is my secret sauce. Y'all went crazy when I posted this on my Instagram story. If I still got the story, I'll post it here. But literally, it's kind of like an Alfredo sauce. But <laughs> I just use heavy whipping cream. I use my favorite cheeses, which is parmesan and mozzarella more so more mozzarella than parmesan because mozzarella got that stringy effect so i like to do that then girl then drop the top in there everything then i season the sauce with my favorite seasonings the onion powder garlic powder um add more cheese you know just kind of do it to your liking your taste buds you can literally taste this while you're cooking um like i said it's kind of like an alfredo sauce but it's mostly kind of like a cheese sauce basically too so you see how stringy that is that's what you want and I find this to be delicious on these roasted potatoes. Like it tastes so good. But I only do this after I cook like my meat. So I put it in the same pan that I had cooked my meat in because all of those flavors from your meat, your steak, whatever you want to cook is so flavorful. So I just put that on the roasted potatoes. I put it on my steak. Girl, sometimes I even eat the macaroni in it too because I'm not one of the people who don't like my food touching. So everything is ate at once. It tastes amazing. So yeah, the cheese sauce is very simple. Everybody went crazy over it. Some people was thinking it was like yum yum sauce or something like that. That's disgusting. I'm not going to eat yum yum sauce with potatoes. But yeah, this is that. And I also add in some A1 steak sauce. It was delicious. Right here in this clip, you can see, baby, I'm almost done with my plate. All the potatoes are gone. All the macaroni is gone. The steak I did finish. And I wanted to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until my next video, I will see you lovely then. Bye, guys.